Hello everyone, and let's check out another amazing chess game by Bobby Fischer. And in this chess game, Bobby Fischer has the white pieces, and his opponent is Julio Bolbocan. And he was two times Argentinian chess champion. And this game was played in Stockholm in 1962, in the Stockholm chess tournament. Bobby Fischer finished the tournament with 13 wins, no losses and 9 draws. And once again, Bobby Fischer finished this tournament as an undefeated chess player and won the chess tournament. That was also a very impressive score by Bobby Fischer. So Bobby Fischer, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, by Julio Bolbocan, knight to c3, a6, h3. We have the knight of variation of the Sicilian defense by black, knight to c6, g4, knight takes on d4, queen takes on d4, e5, attacking the queen, queen to d3, bishop to e7, g5, by Fischer, attacking the knight, knight to d7, bishop to e3, knight to c5, attacking the queen, queen to d2, bishop to e6, and both players castled. In the opposite directions, Bobby Fischer castled in the queen side. F3 by Fischer, rook to c8, king to b1, knight to d7, and h4 by Fischer, b5. Attacking from the queen side, bishop to h3, exchanging the bishops, knight to b6, and trading the bishop for the knight. Queen takes on b6 and knight to d5 by Bobby Fischer. And believe it or not, but this was one of the most important moments of the game. And after knight to d5, Bobby Fischer has a winning game in his hands. And also Bobby Fischer took his notes about this game. And Bobby Fischer said at this moment of the game, White has a strategically won game. His knight cannot be dislodged. So as you can see, white has a good knight against a bad bishop of black. Attacking the queen and also attacking the bishop, queen to d8, defending the queen and defending the bishop. But where is this bishop going? That's a very passive bishop and white has a good knight, controlling very important key squares. The game continued. Fischer played f4. He takes on f4 and queen takes pawn, queen to d7, and queen to f5, by Bobby Fischer, offering to exchange the queens. But the Argentinian chess master, of course, didn't capture the queen, and he played rook from c to d8. If capturing the queen, then knight takes on e7, forking the king, and the queen, king to h8, and knight takes on f5, and black needs to resign immediately. As you can see, capturing the queen would be a blunder. So after queen to f5, we have rook from c to d8, rook to a3, queen to a7, defending the pawn, rook to c3, g6, queen to g4, queen to d7, not exchanging the queens, queen to e6, rook to c7, attacking the bishop, defending with the rook, knight to f4, now attacking the queen, Bolbocan played queen to e5 and rook to d5. Again, attacking the queen, queen to h8 and a3, h6, g takes on h6, queen takes pawn, h5, bishop to g5, attacking the knight. Well, Bobby Fischer played h takes on g6, not defending the knight. But we have f takes on g6, of course. Well, actually, the threat is very obvious. If bishop takes on f4, then g takes on f7, forking the rook and the king. So what else? Rook takes on f7, rook takes rook, king takes on f7, but then rook to f5, rook to h5 would also be fine. Rook to h5 would also a very good move.
But let's say rook to f5. King to e7, and rook takes bishop. And white is much better. Black is losing. So Fisher captured the pawn. H takes on g6. F takes on g6 by Bolbokan. Attacking the knight. And the knight is pinned. How to defend in this position? Well, Bobby Fisher, as a magnificent chess player, of course, saw this possible continuation. And he has foreseen this move. And this is why he calmly played queen to b3. And Bobby Fischer is leaving the knight. Bolbokan captured the knight. Rook takes on f4. And what would you do in this position? Well, Bobby Fischer played rook to e5. That's check. That's a discovered check to the king. And also attacking the rook. Defending the rook, king to f8. And Bobby Fischer captured the rook. Rook takes on e8. And at this moment of the game, Julio Bolbakan didn't capture the rook, and he resigned. Another incredible chess game by Bobby Fischer, and Black resigned. What a beautiful chess game. And also in his notes, Bobby Fischer demonstrated the checkmate after king takes rook. So what happens if king takes rook? This is the possible continuation. If king takes on e8, then queen to e6, check. King to f8, and queen to c8. Only defense is with the bishop. And queen takes bishop, check, mate. There is no defense. Black is getting checkmated. And what an incredible chess game, once again, by Bobby Fischer. From 1962, in the Stockholm, Sweden, Stockholm Interzonal Chess Tournament. So this is why after Rook takes on E8, Bolbokan resigned. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.